Hello to everybody who tuned in. <laughs> so the cool thing, like, so I'm walking around in Florence, right, and I went into one of the shops after having my vegan soy ice cream, which was, by the way, like, incredible. But, but, anyway, I'm just walking around, and the thing is, it's quarter past 11, and yes, yes, it should be in bed, but it's fine, it's like a holiday and stuff. And now it's like part of a holiday where we somewhat relax. <laughs> cool thing like okay so one thing I feel fairly safe because you police is driving past everywhere non-stop so I think it's pretty good plus I'm not really carrying much valuables with me or anything like that but I stumbled upon this like square and it's so cool check out there's like sculptures there's this like massive tower thing building thing and there's all these sculptures and all those archways by the way like I absolutely love archways and just kind of seeing that especially you know one after another after another whether they're like kind of aligned or one like behind the other one like I love archways so like and there's loads and loads of sculptures we're gonna go there and have a look but I just wanted to like show you from here so so cool see I love Italy I love Italy for like these very reasons. I remember when I went to Rome, I was just like, every corner you turn and it's something incredible, it's something beautiful and you just like, oh my God, <laughs> like I cannot believe I'm witnessing this in real life. Like seriously, to me that was Rome. I actually was incredibly impressed with it. The thing I wasn't so into in Rome was that everybody smoked. Like I felt like literally every person was smoking in Rome that I did not like because like I'm not judgmental but I just like I don't like the smell of cigarettes like I, I really don't so <laughs> yeah like that was a mish I find actually in Europe a lot more people smoke than back at home like in Australia and New Zealand I don't know it's like all a lot more promoted the anti-smoking campaign type stuff back at home but anyway anyway check out this I should flip you around and show you all the things. All the things. So I know it's a little bit dark, but check out this guy. This is insane. It's like just in the middle of the city. This incredible, beautiful sculpture. Who is this? I love it how like the other building is behind it, and it's also like historic and cool. And I also love, love, love these like. Oh, it's so dark. Now. Like these little frisks, right? Like the 3D kind of things. So cool. I love them. I think they're so cool. And also like there's, do you see that? There's like a boost bus type thing at the top of the building. It's just insane. Also loads of cameras, which is always good for safety and security. It's a boat in the back of this. Have a look at the biggest cultures.
tell you something you might think that I'm like such total prude and such a goody goody two shoes but right there the residents architecture they love 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 displaying completely nude people right completely nude figures what I think <laughs> what I think I prefer is something like this like a little leaf covering the thing the rest no worries there's like one little thing that i kind of feel almost slightly uncomfortable with but but it's all good it's on <laughs> maybe i just don't get it no i do get it <laughs> i appreciate it absolutely like that is insane that they're able to do these things hey like and kind of especially you know the originals that they're making out of marble or bronze or like the real materials like making it so perfect and smooth and beautiful and I really really love Greek mythology so like honestly Italy is like in Greece I, I love these two countries they're so cool So incredible. So incredible. Just a little, little bit more walk and we'll like sit down and have a little chat. And I should really at some point start heading back to the Airbnb, the Atsi Airbnb you saw yesterday. Neptune. Phantom of Neptune, that's Neptune. Got, they're like obviously fixing it. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at all these sculptures everywhere. Oh. You guys, you guys, you're not gonna believe what I just found. Huh? I stumbled upon the, well, what they call in Florence, piglet, but it's not a piglet, it's the wild, the, uh, what's it called? what it's called but the you know the wild thing I basically said if you touch snows and put your hands in his mouth means you will come back to Florence and it's like luck let's go do that as you can see most people have been touching it snows and it's, it's very polished out there and see another beautiful thing so, like look at this I'm just like in a row of columns and they're like spectacular at the top and I also love when Archways and the roof have the like 3D fresh cap thing this one doesn't have much of it but it's still like pretty insane By the way, this is what it, the accommodation that we're staying in from outside looks like. It's basically an apartment in really, really close to the center of Florence. There's these massive doors, huge big doors that you need to open. And there's like an old school lift. And then it's 
takes you up. In here, really cute. Little, little things you just call the people you want to talk to. Me. 